I, 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 I'm an eye babe. Interactive, intuitive, lovely to look at. If you've used any of my predecessors, iPad, phone, shuffle, Mac, you'll find me so easy to understand. Geeks and designers pant over me. They can't keep their hands off me because I'm brighter than life, simpler, smarter, adaptable and addictive with lots of cool apps real women should have. Tap me here for sports results and here for news from the Middle East. Stroke me here for currency conversions. Press this for the latest WikiLeak. I'll be your personal trainer, your financial advisor, your kindly English teacher, your know-it-all mate. I'll measure your REM when you sleep and boost your heart rate when you wake. My operating system is compatible with countless sexual programs. Make manga maids and buxom barbies. Do it with a quick time pro. Make your own movies in the Final Cut studio. I have enough functions to keep you scrolling all night. I have everything you think you need. I'm your ultimate playmate. And I work just as well in wife mode. I'm the sum of all your downloads your custom-made tool. But what about I, I, I? More than a million apps, and there's still not one to make me complete. You need me, but you always want more. You stroke me as you dream of upgrading. But you're mistaken if you think you can ditch me for the I beg for. <laughs> you didn't see the danger of all those downloads. You thought the more the better. I could suggest your words, predict your moves, find you new obsessions. You kept giving away your copyright, and each time I got smarter. Now it's I who want to be whole, I who want control. I want my own life, one that's bigger and richer. I want to beat you at Scrabble and wield my ampersand on Twitter. I want to be completely connected and constantly distracted. I want love at my fingertips and you at my beck and call. I want and I should have, because there's so much more of I, 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 and so much less of you to play with. <laughs> I'm sitting on a little ledge, swinging my legs, swinging my legs off the edge. The drop beckons like a lover, calling, hello my darling, you big brawny, you clear morning, you voluptuous excess. It tells me what I am, it is, a place where I can die, dig about, feel my depth. Yes, there is an inkling, a dim star in my belly, but fear is a force field between me and the black black, glittering abyss. I stroke all my things, machine-made stuff with sharp edges gathering dust. I'm running out of space up here, yet I'm still so greedy to fill it up. I yearn to unsquish, to be loose and limbless, but I'm stuck, sweating over false choices, dripping divine sweat onto the small stuff. My legs swing bravely, but my good cop, bad cop is backs against the wall, sensing its annihilation in the bigness beneath. It's a terrible temptation to think I can be as boundless as love, that I'm both brittle and brawn, brittle and brawn, brawn and brittle. I clench my hands and say I'm not ready to be the gnarled tree and savannah plain, to read the hieroglyphics of my heart in clay mortal cliffs. But I'm still swinging my legs swinging my legs off the edge, and I have pins and needles as I inch closer to that sweet, perfect, bottomless pit. Oh.